Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today we have a few more unboxings to do so the first one of those is the Rode Lavalier Go microphone so this I actually purchased to go alongside my Rode Wireless Go 2 kit this unfortunately took a few more days to actually arrive but it's here now so what we'll do is we'll do an unboxing see what we get in the pack and also just hook up and do a few tests as well alongside that I also have the KNF Concept uh, 77 millimeter ND filter. This is a variable ND filter that I actually purchased for this particular lens. Um, main reason is because whilst this works perfectly fine indoors, whenever I'm trying to shoot anything uh, with brighter brighter light in it, and even, even right now I can see it's basically at its lowest ISO setting on the A7S III. So for that reason, I just wanted to try out some ND filters just to see, um, see what it's like basically. Um, I, I know it's not gonna be as good as the original lens in terms of quality, but um, as long as it gets a shot done, that's that's all that really matters. So with that, what we'll do is we'll first dive into the Lavalier Go. And as is always the way with Rode, their products are extremely hard to get into. Okay, we're in. So, so nothing else in the box there. What we get is a little pouch, and this is a lot smaller than I was actually expecting. So we just empty everything out, just put that to the side for now. And what we have is, so we have everything basically separate. So we do have some silica gel, so get rid of that. So we have the actual clip mechanism separate. We have the pouch. We have the microphone itself. That may not have been in focus, there we go. And yeah, as most people have commented, this thing is extremely, extremely thin. Um, the actual microphone head is a lot smaller than I was expecting as well. Okay, so it comes with a warning on the actual package. So it basically says strang strangulation hazard. This cable contains Kevlar and has the potential risk of causing lacerations and strangulation. Avoid looping the cable around the neck and keep out of reach of children. Okay, so there we have it. Right, let me see if I can get this off. I think I might need some scissors. One second. Okay, we're back. All right. All right, so that's the label chopped and we're left with the cable. So in terms of length, this is probably around about the same as the ones that actually came with the Ceremonic kit. The head of this is a lot smaller and the actual wind muff is a lot different as well. Now the microphone, you're probably really gonna struggle to see that, but um, it's, Unlike a lot of the other ones, there are no openings on the sides and even the mesh on the, the top is extremely fine. So I'm hoping that that translates to good audio quality. Let's just get this out and get this threaded on. Right, so let me think which way around would I prefer this going on. So I think it'll probably be this way around. And let's push this back on okay right so what I'll do now I'll try and do this as carefully as possible is I'll take the clip off and I'll connect it okay so that's not perfect but I've got it sort of on my clothing and I'm just gonna pop the microphone in now okay so we should now be working off the lab mic so you can let me know what the difference is in terms of sound quality going forward hopefully as i said um, in the unboxing for the rode wireless go i'm hoping that this particular cable will actually stand up a little bit better with it supposedly being made of kevlar okay so that's done um initial impressions on that is it's i don't see how making it this thin will actually help um hopefully it will stop some of the sort of sounds and vibrations that you actually get coming through the cable as you can with some of the normal lavalier mics just for movement and things like that but what we'll do now is we'll dive into the second unboxing and this is for the ND filter let's get rid of that okay okay 
so opening it up we are presented with the ND filter and you do get a I'm guessing it's like that and what else do we get so we get a little card just with some other uh, filters that they actually produce as well as a little message on the back as well so that's all very nice let's pop that to a side and this is the sort of protective case that it's actually presented in so it's got a sort of hinge mechanism this side and it's got a little button release just there so pressing that yeah it does pop open and on the inside this is something that i'm not a, a, a big fan of they're literally just using some sort of cheap polystyrene um, almost like a bubble wrap type material on the inside it was a similar thing with the the other filter as well now weirdly this casing seems bigger than the casing that was actually that I got with my 87 millimeter 87 or is it 82 mil I think it was for my 24 to 70 lens so that's kind of weird okay and there we have the actual lens itself so we do have the ND sort of okay so it goes from a minimum of N2 up to a maximum of 32 so unlike the previous one that I actually purchased this one doesn't seem to have a sort of zero um, mark so essentially as soon as it goes on it's on um, the other thing I wanted to check was whether it actually works with the casing in place which it looks like it might actually do okay so that is with the ND filter on now and what we'll do is we'll just test it and we'll see this live in terms of adjustment and yeah this one what I do like about this one is it actually maxes out so it'll stop rotating once it reaches its maximum mark obviously right now I've got it on auto ISO so the ISO is going to be going crazy trying to adjust the picture accordingly but what I do like about this particular one is firstly it fits on with the filter in place on backwards so I don't have to take the the hood sorry the hood for the uh, the lens and secondly um, once you hit your minim, minimum and maximum marks it does actually stop unlike the previous one that I actually purchased so this is actually a much better setup than the other one um, what I might do is just try and turn this around and see if because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get the the lens hood off and this will give you an idea in terms of the quality with and without the lens uh, the lens hood on so I just pop that in there for a second so if I just rotate this take the lens hood off and what I was hoping is that this will actually go on and allow me to still use the lens hood which the okay so that is now on that is the minimum and no unfortunately it doesn't but yeah at least allows me to leave the lens hood on the lens itself which is how I normally like to to leave it and then obviously you have your adjustment going from minimum all the way to maximum so if I turn it to maximum it's a essentially dropped it further down than 640 ISO because this still looks way darker on the screen compared to when I had no lens attached at all so that's the minimum and yeah I, I realize it will it will obviously decrease the quality of the image slightly um, auto ISO doesn't seem to want to adjust that quickly on that but what this does do is it at least allows me to get shots where whereas previously I wouldn't have been able to so what I may do is if the sort of KNF concept type um, package does actually work where the thread size and everything is slightly different then I may actually purchase one of these for my other lens as well so if I just get my camera bag what I currently have is basically one of these this is the one that I actually got for my 72 uh, sorry 24 to 70 and the problem with this particular one is the fact that firstly it will just keep rotating there's there's no end point um, it does do the X um, once you reach the maximum so essentially I believe this one had like eight one two three four five six seven eight and then the max and basically you can't really use the eighth uh, filter 
so it is uh, a two to four hundred so you, you can't actually get to the 400 mark um, and still have it usable it, it basically creates too much of a vi vignetting um, so basically you probably only want to take it to the six or seven mark but what I may do is return this one and actually buy one of these ones instead because that's actually much better I much prefer to have it where it'll lock out as you can see with this one I can just keep rotating keep rotating and it will just keep going around because it's using two different lenses um, that are basically crossing over each other this one I'm not a fan of the casing. The casing's way too big for, for what it is. Uh, but I do like the fact that it locks out and it makes it a lot easier to actually judge where you're at because the problem is once you've put this on, you don't all of these marks don't necessarily line up. And because of that, it's kind of difficult to see where you're actually at in terms of your, your steps of reduction. So um, yeah, with this one, I'm not, I'm not too, too unhappy. I wasn't expecting these to be brilliant because obviously if you look at the price point, this one I believe was roughly around the £50 mark. This one I think was even cheaper. This one, I can't remember the exact price. I'll, I'll try and put a card on screen of what I actually paid for it. But this one was literally just a really cheap one that I wanted to just see um, see what, what it's like, whether it's even worth uh, looking at. But yeah, that's um, just a quick messy unboxing uh, of a couple of products that I've had through. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. Also hit the bell icon, that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'd really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up as well. Other than that, thanks very much for watching.